Mom, can my friends sleep over? Of course, honey, they can. That's what Elijah's mom always told him every time he asked him. After that his friends would sleep over. His mom was a sweet, gentle woman. Now, he was born in the, in the late 60s. So, she lived a good life. Elijah's dad wasn't really in the picture. He was in high school terms here in Gordon. And she dropped out of high school. And she raised Elijah. Now everybody thought Elijah's mom was the kindest woman on the earth. Always saying hi to everybody. Taking her son everywhere she went. Elijah was her pride and joy. She didn't want to get into trouble. Now, only having one mom in the picture, Elijah was trying to start. He, don't understand, he never understood why his dad left. He never asked any questions. He just giggled and played with his friends. Now, there's something about Elijah's mom that nobody has ever known, and neither did Elijah. Every time Elijah's mother would spend to sleep over, she would say yes. You already knew the typical answer would be always be yes, but the reason why she kept saying yes every time she seen these kids that Elijah brought home, she would start crazy. Children. <laughs> she would laugh to herself. My son doesn't know. It goes on in my world. Being alone for so many years with no man to raise me and my child. I'll make them all pain. I'll truly make them all pain. She told herself every time Elijah's friends will come over and she'll be cooking in the kitchen. Now, she wouldn't have killed him the first night. No, she wanted the kids to feel comfortable. Now Elijah was only in elementary, and kids felt comfortable at a very young age. Three nights, that's all it took. The friends would always come over every two weeks to play games or to sleep over. And this night was the third night. Elijah was, was playing playing Super Mario with his friends. His friend Kyle, his friend Jordan, and his friend Anderson. Now Kyle was a pudgy kid and, and had red hair, freckles, wearing a shirt saying, I'm not fat but I'm fluffy. <laughs> Jordan was the athletic one. A Latin, a Latin American child. His parents knew Elijah's mom for a long time. Now his last friend was very, very quiet. He never said anything. Not even to his own parents. Just hi. That's all he said. He'll say yes. Hi and no. And Jordan was the loud one. He didn't really mind if nobody heard him. He wanted more attention than anybody else. Then I came and everything was normal. Before they came up and the kids were still alive, they went out and played. And they were going to pick them up. And it was a school, it was Sunday, so they had to go back the next day. They came and came picked them up. And Elijah's mom told them they were good children, and they had fun playing around. So, being the mother that she is, she gave them all a dollar. And was saying, thank you very much, hopefully you can come back again and have spent more time with Elijah. 
He lies in his so excited, he said his mom. His mom was okay with his friends looking over. And so, Elijah went back with her same day, just by himself. His mother bought him every game he wanted, even the glory ones. She knew Elijah would never get into bad situations. Elijah started playing through the war. His mom told me she'll be back for a little bit. He didn't mind, he was too busy into the video games. Seeing the blood and death fly. She drove. And she left the house and started driving. She was seen Kyle playing in the front yard. Well, playing in his front yard. And she asked him if she, needed, if she wanted to come with him to the store. Because he realized his birthday was coming up. He said yes. He said it And told his parents he'll be back. I can't stay in mind because because most of the time Kyle just left. You know, I'm always going to the candy store right right down the block. So they thought he was going to go get candy. He got in the car with Elijah's mom. He told her what the game for Elijah. And she said, Oh, we're just going to get food. I'm hungry. What about you? He smiled, grinned, and laughed. He said yes. He, he didn't know what was going to happen to him. Elijah's mom drove all the way back to their house, covered Kyle's mouth, and told him to be quiet and go to the basement. And Kyle listened. Kyle went straight down to the basement. And was hit from behind in the back of the head. By the time he woke up, he was startled, crying, but nobody could hear him. Not even Elijah. And now, why would he hear him if it was a school day? She was laughing, playing with him, toying with him. She would take out a knife, a nine inch blade, and put it by Cal's stomach. Kyle, do you know what it's like to be hungry all the time? He shook his head and started crying, asking her what is she doing. He slowly poked his stomach a little harder. Blood started seeping onto the knife and she smiled. She grinned at the experience of the blood. She made a cut from side to side, steady. Cow in the stomach multiple times. And blood all, all over her face. And she just licked it off and laughed. <laughs> these children don't know what it's like to be hungry for all these years. I think Elijah would love meat tonight. She got a huge chunk off his cow's stomach. Took off the skin and put it in the refrigerator. <laughs> By the time Kyle got home, it was on 2.30. And then she smiled and looked at Kyle. Looked at Elijah. Telling him, are you hungry? Yeah, Mom, I'm hungry. What's there to eat? I'm making meat. Honey. Now, go get, go get dressed. And wash up so you guys dinner. Well, lunch. <laughs> he was so excited. He loved me. Especially the way his mom prepared it for him. But he didn't know about the meat. Meanwhile, Cal's eating to death. At this point, Cal has been tail. She went down. She went down to the basement. Looked at Cal. And Cal's crying. Miss Anderson, why are you doing it? You don't know. It's like she stabs him multiple times in the eyes, taking out both eye stalks, taking out both the eyes, and cutting off his tongue. That's the end. It. Now, Kyle's body is slaving, and Elijah eats the meat. His mom laughs, and Elijah looks at him. Mom, what's so funny? <laughs> Nothing, sweetie. 
eat. Tomorrow's gonna be really, really special. <laughs>